Begin with our continuing coverage of the homeless encampment under the Mulberry Street Bridge in Harrisburg. The city says everyone needs to be out now so the area can be cleaned and exterminated. Sonica Bargo live in Harrisburg with the latest. Good afternoon, Sonica. Good afternoon, James. City officials just wrapped up a press conference here and they told us there are still about five people under that bridge in that encampment. The city is working with nonprofit partners to convince them to leave and help relocate them wherever they need to go. Now, the cleanup effort is scheduled to start tomorrow, beginning with trash pickup. That's expected to take about two days. After that, an exterminator will come in to deal with that rat infestation. The mayor's office said police will be patrolling during that time to prevent people from returning, but the public works director says the extermination will happen even if people remain under the bridge. The city did say most residents have relocated to another encampment that's at Pendot on Front Street. The city had also offered another temporary relocation site, but as of this morning, anyone who moved there has since left. The city also emphasized they are still working with nonprofits to keep providing resources to the homeless pushing people out or relocating. We are actively working with individuals to find the resource that works best for them. And that's a number of things, rehab, um, temporary shelters, relocating out of state back to their, to their families. The city also told us that some residents were able to check into rehab and one was actually reunited with their family. Moving forward, the city and the mayor's office will keep working with the Capital Area Coalition on Homelessness to address the larger issue of housing insecurity in the city. Live in Harrisburg, Sonica Bargo, ABC 27 News. Sonica, you mentioned about five people still remain there under the bridge. Do you get the sense from city officials? Did they say that they were hostile about leaving or was it just a case of they just didn't have another place to go right now? So city officials and their nonprofit partners told us that those people were open to leaving. They're just working on getting them the resources to help with that move and finding places where they can go. Nonprofits have also collected supply donations that they are hanging on to to help those people. Once they do find a new place to settle in, they do have supplies that they are going to be handing out to those people. So it didn't seem, at least from what the city and nonprofits told us, that those people were resisting leaving. It's just a little bit of a process. Gotcha. All right, Sonica Bargo live for us there in Harrisburg. Thank you very much for that update.